So for the clown costume, the insane clown costume, I bought this uh, from Amazon, I believe it is all listed at the bottom. I was thinking about going with that one. Either one of them would have most most effective, but this is more of an insane uh, um, sort of a straight jacket. So that is this, and it, it just slips on from the front and in the back, I've got some dip, zip ties just to hold it on. You can use whatever you want. Um, the whole premise though is that you have to have arms that detach. So I cut it right about here. If I had to do it at, again, I would do it right at the shoulder, but wherever you cut it, um, you have to fill in the diameter. And I use probably a piece of four inch uh, closed cell foam, a high density foam. You can use styrofoam, whatever you want. As long as you can screw adhere a magnet. So it's a, just a regular Home Depot magnet. Does not have to be heavy. It just has to connect to the arm. Um, I did the same thing on the arm here, the piece of uh, styrofoam, and I screwed in just a metal plate. So the magnet just grabs the metal plate. It's pulling out a little bit here, but make sure it adheres and it just has to pull apart. Uh, I was thinking of experimenting with, many, many, experimenting with a little bit of uh, Velcro, which could have easily uh, been done. But the whole thing is that the uh, arms, as you can see, I've got some uh, uh, some plastic chains here. The arms adhere to the, the jail cell, and you've got your torso attached to it. And after you electrocute yourself, and then people are just wondering what the heck's going on, you just pull right off like in the video. So, and the arms looked a little wacky uh, because they were a little backwards or a, a, a weird bend, which is okay because you want to make it look like it's not a person. You're not a person. The hands are simple, uh, the vinyl uh, gloves we use around the workshop. Um, I just filled it with some, I don't know what it was, but I stuffed it. Then I glued the fingers down to make it look like a fist. Um, and again, it looks fake and it should. Uh, you want it to look fake. Uh, I got the... Uh, Silence of the Lambs mask, so nobody could see my face. I think I wore a wig, as you'll see in the video, and sunglasses. So people would come right up to me, uh, and there was a couple arguing that I was real and I wasn't real, and the guy insisted that I wasn't, and the woman insisted that I was, and I just pulled out without doing any of the electrical or anything, and he actually tossed his beer and ran down the driveway, which is pretty darn funny. Um, the shocking thing, um, and I won't turn it on because it goes for about 20 seconds, but I think it's $25. I'll list it below, but um, Walmart, Target, get it now because they, uh, they sell it pretty fast. But that was behind me, and my arms were really behind me, and I could actually press the button on that to start it. And I, I had a buddy who was sitting in a car on the side of their driveway, and when I started that, he would start the music. You can hear the sound effects and the strobe light at the top which was this, I think it was about 20 bucks, and yeah, it's probably backwards, but it says Enforcer Strobe Light. Again, I'll list it. Um, so we had strobe lights, music, and sound effects, which added a lot, of, uh, a, a lot of effects to it, which is pretty good. I also have, I also did a background on the uh, garage door. Um, this is 22 feet wide by, I believe it's eight feet tall. So it's good enough for a two car garage, which I thought um, added a lot. Um, you can get that right from me too. I'll uh, give you instructions below. Feel free to email me with any questions. It's a pretty simple one. The only tough part is the attachment of the arms. You do need somebody to help you put the arms back together. It's difficult unless you have the arms, the detached arms hanging in the right place to hook up again. And a lot of times the kids would hang around and I would ask them to put it together uh, for me for the next people that came through, which was pretty fun and they really liked being involved. So have fun. Email me with any questions. Happy Halloween. The jail cell, which of course is an option with this costume, is pretty simple. I've got a uh, two by four base here and I think it's uh, four feet wide. You can make it six or eight or whatever you want. So the base here is two by four. The sides plus the bar guides are one by four. I happen to have this seven feet long. Not sure why I did it that way, but so I've got a one by four on this side, one by four on the other side, and then one by fours here, 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 and then one across the top. The bars are a one inch PVC. 
as you can see, I drilled holes through the guides and through the top. And then at the bottom, I didn't drill all the way through, but just drilled enough so the bars would stick in them to hold so they wouldn't lag back and forth. So I did that, and then I did, I think, a three foot one to go um, sideways. You'll see on the video and on the photo that it's really two pieces of that, but pretty cheap. Uh, pretty easy to build as long as you got a drill, hammer, and nails. And then, of course, I just spray painted everything silver.